there was this call that I picked up from a migrant brother. When the call came in, what he first said was really, Hello, uh, pain, pain. Having the migrant brothers know about the crisis helpline being available 24-7 is really very important to them because they can reach us anytime in the day or in the night so that they know that someone is there to listen to their problems. Hi, I'm May. I'm the crisis helpline team leader in HealthServe. Hi, I'm Madeline. I'm a crisis helpline volunteer at HealthServe. When the call came in, what he first said was really Hello, uh, pain, pain. In that call, it was really a process of slowly getting information of like pain where, have you seen a doctor? Have you told the supervisor beyond pain? He sounded like he's a bit agitated because he said he was uh, sick for the last two days and he's still feeling very unwell. I was also a bit like, okay, what do I do next? But what's really helpful is because health sir, we have this group chat whenever you are on duty that you could immediately ask, okay, what do I say next? Or you could get assistance. We ultimately called an ambulance and we got him sent to the hospital. So there's uh, 16 hours of training that we do in partnership with SOS. This training equips the volunteers with the necessary skills to handle phone calls in crisis situations. We also conduct role-playing exercises to familiarise them with actual call situations. About 10 minutes before each duty, health serve will actually call in to do a briefing to make sure that we are updated on what's happened. And what's interesting about HealthServe is beyond just helping migrant brothers, I think the flexibility was something that I found an advantage. You could actually man the hotline at home. A crisis helpline volunteer should be empathetic, compassionate, and most of all should have a heart to listen to migrant workers' problems. Volunteers really form the backbone of what HealthServe is doing, so having volunteers available to come alongside the Crisis Helpline staff team to do this 24-7, it's really very significant. If you have a heart for the migrant worker community and you have at least four hours to spare in a month, you can volunteer with us in the comforts of your own home, so come volunteer with our Crisis Helpline team.